Um, the story behind OptiScan, Steve, is listed in 1997, 15 years now. Um, my interest became as a shareholder in 1997 uh, and it was listed as pretty much an intellectual property story, Peter Delaney and Martin Harris out of Monash University, around miniaturised microscopy and taking the microscope to the body to image cells live. Uh, that then moved on five years of development. 2002, the company had an agreement with Pentax to incorporate miniaturised microscopy technology into Pentax endoscopes. And that then resulted in the world's first flexible endomicroscope in 2006 as a clear FDA cleared medical product. Um, then moving on to 2007, Carl Zeiss licensed various other fields with OptiScan for significant payments. Um, their fields are neurosurgery, ENT surgery, breast, spine and ophthalmology, all of which Zeiss are world leaders in. Um, and that project with Zeiss is now five years in the making, should produce product in neurosurgery next year, uh, next financial year, very early in the financial year. Just moving back from just after the 2007 agreement with Zeiss, we were entering a very difficult economic period. Um, as we're all aware, it started to rear its head in early 2008, a time when OptiScan had reasonably significant cash reserves, but was also spending at a significant rate of 700000 a month or thereabouts with minimal, minimal income, um, some income from Pentax through sales of, of the flexible endoscopy system, but a, a, a fairly solid cash balance at the start of the year, raised money mid-08 and did not slow down spending um, in late 08, which led to it not hitting a brick wall but going pretty close to hitting a brick wall. And so during the course of 2008-09 we changed a lot of management and board positions. We had to cut the staff down from, it peaked it in the 50s, we're down to 17 now, but we bottomed at about 11. Um, we've recently had some pre-production sales to Zeiss of around about a million bucks, which bolster our cash flow this year, will be cash flow positive if you include the capital um, raising recently of a million bucks. Uh, but there'll be more cash going in than going out this year, uh, this year being 2013 financial year. 2014 financial year, we expect to have the full first full year of commercial sales to Zeiss. That all being well will create on its own a cash flow positive year for the company. So we're, we're really entering that phase of turnaround. We've, we've been through survival mode post 2008 and we're in a real turnaround upswing mode now where we've got Zeiss in neurosurgery, they'll follow with ENT surgery very quickly after that because it's a very similar product and we are deep in talks with one of our ex-partners in flexible endoscopy to re-enter that market. So we're in, we're in a good turnaround position now, things are starting to look good, staff are now smiling after three or four years of not knowing what's going on, not knowing why you're being called into an office, but uh, it's, it's now we've got a very solid technology position with 50 odd patent families and we've got a long pipeline, um, which is what our specialty is, is creating technology into the future and then licensing out to market leaders. OptiScan's current positioning in the marketplace you could break the marketplace into mini marketplaces, I suppose, because it's, it's a broad technology of live cellular imaging, um, largely for precancer and cancerous cellular imaging, early stage detection. Um, and so then you can break that into various medical specialties, such as gastrointestinal and neurosurgery, which I, I raise those two marketplaces because they're marketplaces we're in. Um, the, the overriding objective of how we enter a marketplace is, is focused on what our specialty is, and that's developing the best technology. It's not distributing the technology. We then look to 
the leading market players in each of our market segments to potentially market with, tap their market end expertise and their distribution channels. And that's what we've done with Calzice, who are the world leader in um, neuro visualization systems. So we are partnering with number one in that field. ENT, they're very large as well, which is another one of their fields. Ophthalmology, they're if you go into any laser clinic, it's almost certainly going to be a, a, a Carl Zeiss ophthalmology system. Um, so we look to partner with leaders. So in the segment with Zeiss, we have a number of fields, as I've mentioned, neuro, um, ENT, spine, ophthalmology and breast. Breast is a new exploratory area for them. Um, and we'll be entering the neurosurgery market with them first. It is another indication of how we work and where we fit in the, the scheme of things with that. We develop the technology and the systems. We have hardware leave our factory in Melbourne as complete system for Zeiss. They'll relabel it. It'll then get placed in key opinion leaders' hands as is with the neuro system. We've done all our trials at the Barrow Neurological Institute in Phoenix in the US and true to the philosophy of how we work, they work the same way. BNI, which is Barrow Neurological Institute, um, does more neurosurgeries than any other hospital in the world. It's the, got the largest resident, uh, neurosurgery residency program in the world. It's, it's cutting edge. Um, so we partner with leaders where we have no expertise in distribution and sales and marketing we have expertise in creating the best technology. Similarly, in the flexible endoscopy market, we have previously partnered with Pentax, who we still have a non-exclusive relationship with. Um, they're the number two player in the world, second to Olympus. And so that's our way of getting into the market. We have been in market since 2006 with Pentax, um, with the flexible endo endomicroscopy system, and we expect to be in market with Zeiss in neurosurgery in 2014, 2013 calendar year, and followed very quickly, probably within six to 12 months, with the ENT system and their other fields. There are several other fields available to us where there would be other relevant market leaders, which are more in the blue sky territory. So they're potential, but they're not markets that are really worthy of great discussion at the moment. The, the board of management of um, OptiScan I think is necessarily small given where we've come from post 2008. Um, I'm the executive chairman, Bruce Andrew, who has been the, the CFO for many years, um, is director of finance, a director. We have the minimum of three at this point. And Peter Delaney, who was one of the founders, so he's been on, on board with OptiScan since 1994, is the director of technology and clinical affairs. Um, so small board, we will be looking to expand that now that we're in the upswing and be more looking to bring in a little bit more independence as we're all executives, but it's been a necessary structural issue for us. The outlook for OptiScan in the next 12 months is Late in that, this 12 months, um, we will be launching the neuro system with Carl's Eye, so we will be entering full-scale commercial sales. Um, also, within this 12 months, we expect to finalise our modality of re-entry into the flexible gastro um, endoscopy market, which is currently, we, we're currently in that market non-exclusively exclusively with our first generation technology with Pentax. Message for future potential shareholders, um, so it's not for current shareholders, they know the message, is um, that we are now very well placed. We've, we've through the worst and the turnaround is um, clearly flowing into sales with Zeiss within the next 12 months. We have an extremely large market opportunity in flexible um, endomicroscopy, which is now quite a developed market. And with the disruptive technology that we have, it takes a long time for 
to break into that first market and show the real worth of the technology. We're now six years in with Pentax, hundreds of papers, I think uh, systems have been used in 20,000 plus procedures um, worldwide. It's, we're at that point where we're set for, for launch um, and we're in reasonably good financial condition. So we no longer, um, as opposed to having a technology premium in the past, like in the early 2000s, we no longer deserve the the potential bankruptcy um, discount that's been placed on a lot of stocks in our space. We are a genuine turnaround, we're in good financial condition and we've got good visibility in sales in the near term. More information is available on Op OptiScan on our website which is simply optiscan.com um, and that covers all the ASX releases as well, LinkedIn and as a small company and one very um, open to expanding our story because we've spent the last three, four years making sure we have a story. Now we are starting to tell it. Um, we're, we're very open door. Give us a call if you want to find out anything that you can't find out on the website, within reason, of course. Um, the board, very open to meeting, discussing, emailing. So um, all our contact details are on the website.